Welcome to Bible Tales, and I'm Hazella, and this is Hura. So Hura is joining us today to do another fun and amazing episode of Bible Tales. Hey kids! So today we're going to be doing the story of the blind man who Jesus healed, and we're also going to be doing, um, trying out these cool um, little slime kits, and, and we're going to rate them. Yeah, so we're going to rate ten. them 1 out of 10, and that's what we're doing today. So let's get started! So once upon a time, long, long ago, one day, Jesus was walking on the road, and he had to go poop somewhere. And he was well, while he was walking with his disciples on the road, he saw this blind man. And he started observing him quite deeply and quite intently. And his disciples asked him, why is this blind man um, blind by birth? He was blind by birth. Why is that so? Jesus was observing him quite deep, quite deeply, and quite intensely. And um, the blind man was a blind man. Uh, he was blind since birth. That means that he didn't have any eyeballs. Because if if you're just blind, then, you know, you have your eyeballs and you, they just don't work. But when you're blind by birth, you don't have eyeballs at all. So he was blind by birth. So the, Jesus' disciples asked Jesus, why is this man blind? Is he sinful? Or were his parents sinful? And Jesus an answered him, answered them that no, none of the parents was, were sinful and neither is he sinful. He was blind by birth because so Jesus can heal him. And so the whole world can know that Jesus did this miracle. That's why he was blind by birth. So as Jesus told his disciples that um, that's why he was uh, blind by birth, Jesus then obviously had to heal the blind man. So what Jesus did in some soil that was on the ground, Jesus spit into the soil and he mixed it up and he made a little paste. And then he applied the paste on the blind man's eyes. And then the blind man, he told the blind man to go to the fountain of Shelach and wash his eyes. And Jesus told him that you will be able to see. And then he did as told. So he went there and he washed his eyes. And when he came, while he was coming back um, to Jesus to thank him, people were that people were asking him that who healed you, and how is that possible? That's amazing. And he told everyone that it was Jesus who healed me, and everyone was really excited. And anyone who was injured or, or had like some type of fault in themselves or in their bodies was like really happy that we could go to Jesus to help us. But except one person, um, it was one of the Jewish priests and he didn't believe in Jesus and he thought that God isn't real and Jesus is not real and Jesus can't do that. And so he called the blind man and the blind, blind man to him and he asked him, who healed you? And he said, Jesus healed me. He said, no, you're just lying. You've you've been um you've been you've had eyes all this time. You've just you've just been lying. So Jesus gets the great work. Jesus gets the great name. But blind man told him, no, I was really blind. That's why I couldn't see anything. And he wouldn't listen, and the priest wouldn't believe him. And then the priests would sit to still not believe him. So then that's why he called his parents, the blind man's parents, and asked him, asked them. That was he seriously blind by birth or no? Then they told him that he was in fact blind by birth. But you know, the priest was greedy and he still didn't believe them. He thought that he wasn't actually blind. So then the blind man got free um, um, from the Jewish priest and he went to Jesus and thanked Jesus. And then Jesus asked him, do you know about the Son of God? And he said, no, I don't know about the Son of God. And Jesus told him that I'm the Son of God and that's why I could heal you. So then the blind man started believing in God and believing in Jesus. And that's the end of the story, you guys. So, Hosanna, I have a question. Why did Jesus put a mud paste on a blind man's eye? Oh, okay. Good question, Zion. Well, Jesus put the mud paste in, on the blind man's eyes because when we see in creation, um, God, when he creates Adam and Eve, when he creates Adam first, he 
um, makes him from mud and soil, and that represents why Jesus, Jesus also used soil to make his eyes since he didn't have any eyeballs. Hosanna, is that man blind by birth? Um, yes, indeed, he was blind by birth, but not because his parents were sinful or he was sinful. It's because Jesus was the one who had to heal him. Okay, you guys. So these are our drawings, but we're not going to show them just yet. So um, before we start getting draw start drawing, um, I want you guys to go down in the comments and comment down below what will be the moral of this story. And yeah, and we will is going to sing a song today, so stay tuned for that, and that'll be later in the video, but, <laughs> so yeah, just comment down below the moral of the story, and we'll also ask who have been here, but do not cheat, <laughs> yeah, so we're just going to give you some time until we are coloring our drawings, and remember, you guys can also draw and color the same drawings that we're doing, all you need is a paper, a pen, and some colors, you can also paint, do whatever you want to, okay? Okay guys, so now let's get started drawing. Jesus is our healer. Very nice. Okay, so now that you are, you guys are done, I'm going to tell you guys the more of this story. <laughs> so, <laughs> so the more of this story is that Jesus helps us. He provides us with everything we could ever imagine. 
we could never even have. And he also heals us. And that's the moral of the story. And we need to do, we need to worship him and his, and God so we can have all those things. Okay, you guys. So these are our little slime cakes. Zena has the mermaid one. I have the galactic one. And Horeb has the party one. Yeah. So right here they have like a little theme for the like slime cake um, that there yeah. is. So we're going to be rating these 1 out of 10, and we're going to see how nice they are. And these beads are glow-in-the-dark, so I'm going to have a real fun with them. Yeah, so Huda also has a really cool clear slime, some rhinestones, some foam beads, and some more rhinestones. What does your um, kit include, Zion? Mine includes um, some gold stars, glow-in-the-dark beads, and these silver, silver rhinestones. Yeah. Cool. So mine is like the mermaid kind, and I have some teal. Um, clear, really pretty slime, Ooh, some like the white and pink um, pearls, um, some iridescent, really pretty chunky glitter, and I also have some pretty little um, mermaid charms. So now we're going to get started. They also have like a little picture at the back of what your slime's going to look like at the end. So yeah, that's it's supposed cool. to look like this. So yeah. we're going to see. So let's get started. Okay, so I took uh, took my stuff out. Uh, if you ever want the rough opening, okay, you guys. So this is what my um, here's a close up look of my um slime kit. So my slime is so pretty. It's like this really pretty clear teal, and it has tons of glitter in the back at the bottom of the container. As you can see right here, it's super pretty. And my kit also includes like um, some pearls, and here's some glitter, and those gels, you already know. And I like how they put like these little seals on top. So yeah, your pearls, so your or your glitter, or your stuff doesn't, doesn't fall, fall out, and you don't lose them. So that's a really good going. So and guys, I have my sign. It's like I love Zion's color. And there's a lot of dark blue glitter. Yeah, I bottom. love how they put the glitter at the bottom. And there's some uh, real, a lot of gold stars. And then I have these beads, but I can't take them out because they fall. And and again, like that, they have this cover. cover. I really and love that like that. whole thingy. It's really cool. Uh, I have a clear slime, and as you can see, that there's a lot of glitter, and I have some fumbles and some stars and some beads. Okay, guys, so now we're gonna start by first taking our slime out. Oh, they have cover. That's oh, nice. that's a really nice technique because otherwise, all your oh slime. Oh my god! So, guys, a long time ago, we bought like a monster kit, and it wasn't really the same. And like we got it, and it was. Oh yeah, I remember. Really and it was cool. like green, and like, you know what happened? That was from like another brand, I don't know what brand it was. And then, um, we, I, I got it. And, you know, like, a few days after, like, um, two, three days after, I woke up, and it was evening, okay? And, like, I woke up, I ate food and everything, okay? And in the evening, I went to play with my slime, and it was like rock solid. Yeah, and it was like the, these so slimes are so nice, and, and they're, they're so better. stretchy, and they're really nice. And at first, I thought they were really sticky, but now they're really nice, and they're so clear too. And, and they have tons of glitter tried, inside of them. Yeah, and we tried to do everything we could. We put lotion. We yeah. tried everything, but nothing worked. Okay, so now I'm gonna start putting my iridescent glitter. Okay, I think we should all start by putting our little. Glitter patch bags. So you're gonna do the, the foam balls. Okay. I'm gonna do. Oh my. Careful, Zion. Wait. There's some falling out. Oh, oh my God. So okay, guys, now I'm gonna pour my stars on. It's so pretty. Wait. It's so pretty. Just pour the whole thing, Zion. I have to open it. Here. Can I help you? Oh my God. It's beautiful. It's so pretty. Don't want them. Okay. Oh, there's more uh, all over the table. I told you mine was a lot. Now, this is what you want to do with glitter on your slime. You want to spread it so, like, all your glitter gets. You guys, this is my glitter. I'm mixing it in right now. 
It is so pretty, pretty. It's like this really pretty iridescent glitter, and it has some stars from Zion Slime inside. What? Oh, it's so you took pretty. Some? You took some. Look at how nice and beautiful and iridescent it looks. It's so pretty. And I'm going to add the rest inside now. Okay, guys, I'm going to do some more pretty guys. Okay, guys, I'm going to do some more pretty guys. Oh my god, Zion, your, yours is so pretty. And I'm going to collect all the stars. <laughs> There's the so many stars. I know. I told you I had the most. Sorry. Mine is so pretty and iridescent. Get off. They're like, oh no, I don't want to be eating, but you have to be to go to your brother and sisters. So as you can see that I have uh, mixed the uh, foam balls and the slime, and they're looking so amazing. Okay, okay guys, so these are how our slimes look Ooh, right now. This is so Stretchy! How is mine not so stretchy? I know. Okay, so mine is really pretty. It's like a, it totally looks like a mermaid. So who would have, yours is so pretty too. Thank you. Yeah, it has like really pretty like oh, clear, it's like really clear so and it has like silver So glitter. now I think we should do these. Okay, so now we're gonna, I'm gonna do the pearls. I'm I don't, do I don't think I'm gonna be a big fan of the pearls. Oof. So guys. Um, I took the cover of this and put it on this so these don't fall down. Now I'm going to pour them really gently. Ooh, Gentle. pretty slime, Zine. Okay, I guys. I think I should have I added, added the stars first. I, I added my like um, uh, pearls, but I'm not a big fan of them. But they are so <gasps> nice and they add some nice texture. Zine's is so pretty. I like it. But the color kind of got like... um. Another? Did you add all your rhinestones inside? Yes. And now my stars are left. Cool. And I have these left. And I have... Ooh, I like your shells. Yeah, now I have these like cool little shell charm thingies left. I'm going to add those and I think they're going to make like finish the whole look of this line. Okay. Really pretty. Wow. Look oh my it. god, you guys. They look How is yours so stretchy? They look so pretty. How's your sister? Oh, mine's getting. Stretchy. My beads keep falling out. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> so, guys, now I have to add these glow in the dark ones. And so after we're going to try these with the lights off, and we're going to show you if these really work. Okay. Now, I'm three. Excited. Two. What? Move it back. <laughs> They're everywhere. That's then. what I want to do. Guys, I think only the green ones and the blue ones are going to glow. Well, I don't know. Let's see. The slime is I'm really soft and I'm really enjoying. Okay, you guys. So these are our slimes. We put them back in the container because we're going to swap them. And we're going to um, look at the textures and feel each other's slimes. So we're going to swap now. I'm going to put them all here. Okay. Okay. We're going to mix them up. And, yeah, Okay. That's what we get. So I got Zion slime. Zion got Hudub slime, and Hudub got okay, my slime. Okay, I really think this is. So we're going to feel each other's slimes, and just um, give each other like the overall review, so we can give you guys a nice review about okay, the slimes. Okay, first of all, before we rate each other's, so why don't we rate our own? Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna rate our own slimes. So for my slime, I think I'd rate it like a. Darn. Like an eight or a seven? Yeah, a seven and a half. Half. Um, out of 10. I would go for nine out of ten. Okay. But actually, I think seven or eight. Okay. So, Huda, what would you rate your um your slime out of ten? Um, uh, I rate my slime a nine. Okay, cool. Um, I would rate my slime like a seven because the texture was nice, but I feel like it could be a bit softer, and um, they could yeah. and like the beads and stuff seriously don't stick into the slime and i think they should like include like foam beads and stuff like that because that'll like stick better to the slime but overall the whole just like that they just fell out just fall out like that but overall i think that was really nice okay so I now um zine so now i think we should write rate the slimes that we have in our hands and that we're playing with right now i didn't even get a chance to rate mine oh yeah okay what would you rate yours um i would rate mine uh seven 
Okay, okay. I would rate mine um, like a 7.5, like an 8 out of 10. Okay, so now I'm going to rate Zion Slime. Um, Zion Slime is nice, but I feel like there should be like no beads, and I think that stars are nice only. I'd rate this slime um, like a 4 out of 10. Okay, Zion, what would you rate Hootup Slime out of um, 10? Hootup Slime, I would go for a 6. Okay. It's kind of sticky, but it's also like um, a good texture. And I like how it's good. And it's like um, stretchy. Mm -hmm. so, like, yeah, yours is really quite stretchy too. Make, um, oh, oh, I like how the spoon beads are like going in circles. <laughs> right okay, so Hootup, what, what do you rate the slime you're playing with right now? My slime. Uh, this slime is really soft, and I really enjoy playing with it, and the weight of the slime is 8. Okay, cool. So, what is it that you like about the slime? What do you like about the slime? That uh, it should be really, really more soft, and it should not stick in our hand. Okay, good. So, now we're going to swap our slimes again, and we're going to... Okay, so, Zine... You can have Zion slime, and I'm going to have your slime, and then you can have Zion. my slime. Oh, oh, what is this? Okay, Huda slime is a good slime overall. You I have just... really nothing in your slime, bro. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> okay, so Huda so slime. that's why yours is not, like, yeah. fitting in the Yeah. Ours is not fitting So Huda slime is good. I just wish it was colored, like, it had, like, a tint of blue, a tint of, like, Wait. Some purple, yeah. like a tint of like a color, and I just wish it would have less beads inside of it. Other than that, I really like it because if I open it up and if I try to see through it, I can't really see it ah. that nicely. And since it has so many beads in it, it they keep falling out. That's something I don't like One about Huda Slime. One thing I don't like about the Zena Slime is that, that, yeah, I don't think the camera can really see, but like, look, there's these things in the like, slime. Little yes. Things. And then it pokes your fingers. It does not poke your fingers, first of all. Ow! Okay, but I rate Hootup Slime, um, like a 6 out of 10. Like, what do you rate my slime? Your slime is a 10. Ooh, highest score yet. Okay, Hootup, what will you rate Zine Slime? Zine Slime, uh, I rate uh, a 7. Okay, cool. So those were the ratings. Can, can, can we have our slimes back, guys? Yes, yes. Okay, guys, so overall, I think the slime kit was really nice. You should totally go buy it, too. And they're really cool, yeah. and they have a lot of different, like, genres, I guess, of the slime. You can get, like, a mermaid one, like mine, a galactic one, like Zine's, or a um, party one. Mine, that rhymes. <laughs> or a party one, like Hootups. Okay, so Hootups, you have a really nice voice. And you guys know that the last guest we had here also had a really nice voice. So, Huda, can you sing a song for us? I've heard there was a secret chord That they would play and it pleased the Lord But you don't really care for music, do you? Well, it goes like this the fourth, the fifth, the minor fall, the major lift, the baffle king, composing, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Baby, I've been here before, I've seen this room and I've walked this floor, I used to live alone before, I knew ya. I see our flag on the marble arch, and love is not a weekly march, it's, it's a, a cold, cold. 
beautiful song and you sang really nicely. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. So since you were a guest today, how do you like your experience here? I really enjoyed. Did you like making slime? Yes, I really enjoyed. Testing them? Yes, it was a really interesting activity. Okay. Uh, very nice. So me and Zion have a little gift for you, Huna. Thank you. You're welcome. So that's it for today's video, you guys. We'll see you guys next time. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below the moral of this story. Okay, we will see you tomorrow in the Temple of God Church Sunday School. Okay, guys, see you there. Yeah, sure. So, guys, if you guys are, are a fan of us, you guys can meet us in the Temple of God uh, Church Sunday School. And if you want, well, you guys want to be a guest here, you can also join the Sunday School of Temple of God Church. So you guys can meet you, and you guys can also get a chance to be a guest here.